Hey, we back again. Uh, gonna show you some things you might not know about, you know, the MyTouch 4G. Just for people who, you know, lack certain knowledges about it. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks. All right, so they shut LimeWire down. And you've been an Android person all, all this time, so you must know. Yes, there's an app for that to download free music. Uh, I use G Tunes. I have two actually, but. I use G Tunes right now. So say you have a friend, like a friend of mine, needed some music. Her lawnmower shut down, and she was in panic mode. So I'm like, okay, I could get you whatever music you want, and I'll send it to you. So, uh, you know, you can go to your library, whatever music you have that the person wants, you already downloaded it, and you want to send it now. You can't send it by text because it's too large. The file's too large. Then again, you wanna, you want, you can't Bluetooth it because the person ain't here. So what you wanna do, you just wanna tap it and send by email. Before on the previous Android phones, you probably couldn't do this because it would also say the same thing. The file was too large, but now these more powerful phones they can handle it. So you can choose Yahoo Mail or your regular mail whatever you use or your gmail and you can send it by whatever choice you choose you know that's on you but that's just another thing that you might like about it and then the other thing I just really love I was searching for something uh, I was searching for something a, a gallery just like the Nexus one because I mean, our media gallery, it's its sort of boring. I, I'd have to say it's boring. Like, really? Uh, our photo gallery is very boring. Let's get the gallery. Okay, here's the gallery. But it still makes, it still has a lot of use because, you know, you have HTC Sense, which, you know, you don't have to go to Twitter. This is all my faves. And you don't have to go to Twitter to see your friend's photos. You just stay right within your gallery, which is awesome. Love this feature. Stay within your gallery, and it pulls up all your Facebook contacts. And uh, you can, you know, see all their photos from within your gallery, which is pretty awesome. Also supports Flickr and all of that. T-Mobile albums and your faves. You can see all their photos. So... But otherwise, from that, you know, it's a pretty standard featured UI, and it's pretty, you know, boring. So I wanted, I've always wanted to get the Nexus One's gallery, and finally somebody did it. Uh, some dev did it, and it's called, uh, what's it called? Uh, it's called Gallery 3D, I think. It's in the... App market, it's in the yeah. Just go in the app market and type gallery, and you'll see it. That's beautiful. So, see now I have the Nexus One photo, photo, you know, gallery, and you turn it sideways. I think you could flip through, and then I could go on boom. And this give you that 3D look. It will switch out. See that? And then you can zoom through. And it's awesome with the pinch and zoom. Awesome. It, it, it's like, it's very fluid. So you just see that? Very fluid. Switch it around. That was smooth, very smooth. So whoever, the dev that did this, awesome job. Just go to the gallery, and you'll see, you'll see this. It's called Gallery 3D. Just look for it in the app market. It's there, and it's beautiful. Nice interface. But however, as I said, you know, the... Uh, the gallery in the the, the, the the stock gallery is still useful because it has a sense of it has HTC sense which you know 
you don't have to go on Facebook to see all your contacts. See the Facebook client right there? So I can view all the photos from people on Facebook right here within my gallery. And my faves from Facebook and you know your original albums right here from your phone. So yeah, yeah, that's pretty handy. And that's that's what you know I've been waiting for with HTC Sense because it syncs so beautifully with your phone. And all the agendas with your calendar and uh, you know your contacts then again you go into contacts you don't have to leave your contacts you can do it all from within your contacts I can check your updates Facebook updates right within contacts see I can check messages more updates the thing you last said I can check your gallery I don't have to leave contacts to do all of this it's right there within contacts and I think that's pretty awesome pretty neat uh, see S is updates and then his photo gallery right here I guess he got six photos up that's my boy and if you touch it you can also leave a comment which is cool so you can eat you and you have a picture of a friend you want to share it with somebody else you can do that also you just hit the share button you know what I'm saying and that's pretty pretty efficient right there and uh, you could also comment post your comments see right there post your comment so that's HTC sense and you will have fun with that but those are a couple of things I just had to show you and uh, if you have this you need to update your Yahoo if you just got it go in the market and update your Yahoo messengers and Yahoo is integrated nicely into these phones now also with the iPhone 4 so now you can uh, cross video chat platform with not only Tango and not only Fringe which Fringe is not so good as I heard. Tango is good, but now everybody is using Yahoo because it's so good. They updated their video stuff and also their Yahoo Messenger. So everybody is using Yahoo right now, and it's it's awesome. I used it. My friend has the iPhone 4. Works great cross-platform. So y'all should do that. All right, well, those were some updates. See you next time. If I find anything new, I'll let y'all know.